Today I'm reviewing this three volume collected works of uh, Philip K. Dick. He's probably my favorite uh, science fiction author. Um, as you can see, they come out of the slipcase very, very smoothly. There's uh, no need to, uh, to, to force anything. Uh, you don't need to, um, to destroy the books in any way. Uh, um, so that's, that's very nice. Although the slipcase itself, I would suggest, is really, um, I don't know, maybe it's just something to, um, to help sell <laughs> the collection. Uh, in a in a shop, I, I'm not sure it's really beautiful enough for me to keep on the shelf. The books themselves, however, are very nice. Uh, you, there are three volumes. There are the early books uh, from the 1960s, The Man in the High Castle, for which he got all his um, his awards. Three Stigmata, Palmer Eldritch, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which of course was the inspiration for Blade Runner and Ubik, a great story. Then there's the five novels from the 60s and 70s, Martian Time Slip, Dr. Blue, Blood Money, um, Now Wait for Last Year, Flow My Tears, The Policeman Said, and A Scanner Darkly, which was made into a movie in 2012, was it? Something like that, by uh, Richard Linklater. And um, the Vallis and the later novels, which uh, have a lot more to do with theology and uh, Philip K. Dick's crazy experience uh, where he received a load of information through a pink beam <laughs> towards the end of his life. Um, so, uh, what can I tell you about these books? Uh, first of all, the dust jackets are very nice and uh, and thick. They are uh, they're glossy black, so of course that, that means that they are fingerprint magnets, but they they wipe off very, very easily as well, so that's not a, it's not a concern. Uh, there are some nice uh, blurbs on the front of, of each um, volume. Inside the dust jackets is just advertisements for other, um, other collections in the Library of America series. The book itself is really nice. It's covered in a very high quality cloth. It's very soft to the touch. Um, and the spine is stamped in gold and this black paint. And then at the bottom of the, uh, of the spine, you have the, uh, the logo of the Bank of, the Bank of America, the Library of America. Uh, so same logo tessellated on the end papers. The um, the cover is is quite stiff. I I haven't actually um, read these stories in this particular edition yet, so I don't know if that'll um, give in a little bit uh, over time. Um, as you can see, you can get you get a, a chronology at the end. I'll show you that in a moment and notes on the text. Uh, the paper is quite thin, uh, uh, so it's it reminds me a little bit of Bible paper. Um, it, uh, it it's it's got pros and cons, of course. If you um, if you uh, uh, open the open the book, then it just f flops, so it, it doesn't actually uh, uh, fall out of f fall back. You know, you can you can actually read it quite quite. Um, Quite comfortably. Um, the disadvantage, of course, is that you can kind of see through to the other side, although um, it's not been bothering me. Um, uh, that's, uh, the, the paper itself is, uh, is a nice cream colour. It does feel like, um, like high quality. Um, it, it feels like this thin paper is a, is a conscious decision. Um, and not just uh, skimping on, on costs. At the end of the book, you get, if I can get there, doo -doo -doo -doo, you get a chronology. Um, so, yeah, referring to the times in, um, in Philip K. Dick's life, uh, there's also a bibliography, which is quite nice, especially in these 
later stories which are uh, quite thick with obscure references. Uh, so here is a bibliography um, of some of the texts that are referred to. Um, and then after the chronology, you have notes on, the, on each text. So you can see, there we go, which text and the notes referring to each page and, and each line. Um, and then finally you have another reminder that there are the books in the Library of America series. There we go. So very, very nice collection. Um, a, a very strong recommendation actually. I was looking for these books in, uh, in hardcover and other than getting very old dog-eared um, first editions, um, this really is a lovely way of collecting Philip K. Dick's works. Um, there we go. Looks quite nice on the shelf. All right, well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Oh, maybe a quick look at the, the ribbon there while you're giving me a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribing uh, if you haven't done so already. There we go. So it's a midnight blue um, bookmark ribbon and there's one in in each of the each of the volumes. There we go. That's uh, that's it from me. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.